In this video, we'll take a look at Comet Chat and how we can integrate it into a React app or website. This guide is going to explain how you can get a React app spun up with Comet Chat installed and configured so you can start developing your first real-time chat application. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to go over to cometchat.com and then we're gonna click on start for free if you haven't got an account already. However, since I already have one, I'm just gonna click on sign in. Once you've created an account and signed in, you should see this dashboard here. What we wanna do is we wanna click on add new app. Then we wanna give that app a name. So for example, we could call it React Comet Chat example. And the technology is obviously gonna be React. And our use case, uh, we're just gonna do other. And we're gonna do add app. Once your app is created, you should see this quick start screen here. Now you're gonna have an app ID your region and this auth key here. These are some things you'll need to take note of because we're actually gonna use them to set up our app. So basically all you wanna do is just go down to the React JS tab here and click quick start. You should see this overview of how to get started with Comet Chat in a React app. So you basically wanna scroll down to here and go to the pre prerequisites section here. So what it's gonna tell you to do is set up a React app with React 17 including React DOM and React Scripts uh, version four to create our React app. If you're on Windows, you wanna open Command Prompt. If you're on a Mac, you wanna open Terminal. Basically what you wanna do is npx create-react-app. We'll call our app react dash chat dash example dash app. Okay, once you've created that new React app, uh, you wanna open the project that you've just created in VS Code, for example, or whatever IDE you like. Now, as of this video, the latest version of React is React 18. For this video though, the startup guide is relevant to React 17. So I wanna try and keep the versions relevant. What we're gonna do essentially is downgrade React 18 to 17 for this video. There's a couple different ways you can do it. I find this way I'm gonna do it is probably the quickest way to do it. You know, there might be a quicker way, but we'll just go with this way for now. First, you need to delete node modules. Then we wanna also delete our package uh, lock JSON file. Okay, so once you've deleted node modules and your package lock file, we are gonna do npm install react uh, at 17.0.2. Uh, we're also gonna do react dom at 17.0.2. We're also gonna do react scripts at uh, 4.0.3. And we're gonna do testing library uh, slash react 12, I believe react at 12. Yep. And that should be all we need to downgrade to version 17. So let's do that. Okay. So once those are installed, uh, we want to go to our package.json file and we can see we have successfully downgraded to react 17 and react scripts version four. So this is what we need to use comet chat in our project. What we also need to do is open our source folder here and go to index.js file. We need to remove client from this uh, React DOM library bit. And we also need to replace this here with this uh, because this is how it's done in React 17 and before that. Um, so if we save that file, um, let's go back to our app file here. Um, let us just get rid of everything inside here. Save that. And let's just run the app. And hopefully we'll just see nothing. Actually, let's put something in there just to be sure. Okay, so as you can see here, our app has rendered correctly. Okay, so now that we know that's working, um, I might just get rid of this and have this here, um, just because that's all we're really gonna need. Oh, we can also remove this logo import here and even the app CSS, we don't need that either. And let's save that. Yeah, we wanna go back to the instructions and we wanna go to this bit here that says configure comment chat inside your app. So first of all, you will need to import the comment chat component from the library that we just installed. Um, and then we're gonna initialize it. So we're gonna do all this now and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Actually, before we continue setting up Comet Chat, uh, there's something else I wanna do beforehand. And what I wanna do is, because we're gonna be using um, API keys from the Comet Chat app, uh, we don't actually want them to be exposed in the app when we set this up. So 
what we should do is create an end file that has these values so that they're not exposed. So first we want to do npm install .env. Now that we've installed .env, let's create a new file just here and we're going to call it .env. And we want to go back to our comment chat setup here. Now let's copy the app ID here. Let's bring it in here and let's do react app comment chat app id and we'll just set that equal to the app id that we just copied then we want to go back and grab the region so we can do react app comment chat region and set it to us then we need one more thing which is the auth key so we want to copy the auth key and we do react app comment chat auth underscore key and we're going to paste that all right so we've got those values now and we don't need to remember them anymore because we can now just reference them here and in addition they're not exposed to the front end directly so this is a much more secure practice when storing api keys in your app all right so let's do npm run start so we'll get the app running so we can um watch our changes on the fly so it's a lot quicker Next, we're gonna go into our source folder here and we're gonna click on app.js. Um, we're gonna remove everything from inside here for now because we don't need it. And we're gonna to go to the top here and we are gonna do import comment chat from, from comment chat dash pro slash chat. Okay. So then Next, we want to uh, copy some code, which is actually in the setup guide as well, but I'm gonna write it out here so you can see. All right, so const app ID. Now this is gonna be equal to process.env uh, dot, what did we put for the app ID? Ah, yes. So we wanna put that there. Um, then we want to do const region, which is the same thing, which was process.env react app comment chat region. Um, put a semicolon here too. You don't actually need the semicolon, but I'll just keep it consistent. Um, then we're going to do const app setting equals a new comment chat dot app settings builder uh dot subscribe presence for all users yep um oh, what's going on there uh dot set region which is the region um dot build um and i'll just do this Ooh, do this you should be able to see it all yep cool um and from here we are going to do comment chat dot init app id and app setting which are our parameters or arguments um and then we'll do then uh, i'm gonna do an arrow function which just at this stage simply does a console log um and we'll do initialization complete Oop, completed successfully um and then we'll do, we can also catch um, any other messages we want here. But for now, basically what I'm just going to do is I'm going to do an error, error function. Um, and it's basically going to be the same thing, but instead we're going to write um, initialization failed with an error. Um, and then we're just going to console log our error. Um, that should be be all we need to get started. However, um, I need to actually put something in this return here. So, okay, for the time being, just so that we don't encounter any errors, um, I'm just gonna do a H1 and we're just gonna do comment chat at react example. And we're just gonna save that for now, just so we can see what we've done so far. Now, we should see that. Now we want to go to inspect and we want to open the console here and we can see here initialization has completed successfully. Okay. So we've gotten this far, no errors or anything yet. 
Um, if you do happen to get an error, obviously you'll just need to go back and check to make sure that all your credentials are correct in the M file and that .m is installed, for example. So just you know, check all those things if you are encountering errors, because that's probably most likely what it's going to be at this stage. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is to create a new user in Comet Chat through the React app. So there's a couple of different ways that you could do it. Like for example, you could make the user um, fill out a form that takes the information, uh, say for their name and username and etc. And then when you submit the form, we can send that data off, which will then uh, run the function to create that user for us in our Comet Chat app. However, for the purposes of this video, um, we're just going to keep it nice and simple. I'm just going to show you how to create a user dead simple, um, no forms or anything like that. And then you can implement it however you want. So to do this, um, we're going to go here um, and we're just going to go, uh, we're going to do create user function. And we're just going to go ahead and go const uh, auth key, which will be obviously process.m for React app. Uh, or uh, it's a comment chat auth key, I believe. Uh, let's just double check that. Yes. Okay, cool. All right. So we've got that. Um, and then we want to do uh, const UID, which is, um, let's just call it um, user one. And let's say for the name, let's just do my name, for example. Um, and what we want to do here is we're going to do uh, bar user equals new comment chat dot user. Um, pass the UID as the argument and we'll do user dot set name. And we're going to pass name as the argument. Then we're going to do comment chat dot create user pass um, our parameters as user and all key dot then. Um, and we're going to do user with an arrow function which is just going to simply console log user created. And we're just going to dump out the user console. Um, now, if we get an error, for example, we'll obviously want, us, want it to tell us what the error is. So we'll do the same thing. We'll do console log error, uh, creating user, and we'll just return the error. Okay. so. Let's save that, which I've just done, and let's actually see what that's done in the app. Okay, so let me just refresh just to show you. Okay, now it says here, uh, we've got an error creating the user, um, and that's probably, I've actually just realized why this has happened. Uh, because we refreshed the page, obviously it created the user before I refreshed the page because it would have hot reloaded the app as we saved it. So it was probably a really bad way to show you that. So let's go back um, and let's just do say user two. Uh, and we'll do my full name. Um, now, okay, take note of this. We can see here UID user one already exists. So just take note of that, just so I know that this is working. Now let's save it. It's compiled. Let's go back. Okay. So now we can see the user has been created and we do have those credentials that we passed in, which were user two for my UID and my name, Samuel. Okay, so we've confirmed that the user has been created, but how do we know that the user is there? Um, so basically how we do that is if I pull this window up here, now this is our, uh, this is the area that we were in earlier where we set up our, our comment chat app in the browser for our account. So basically if you go to the left here and click users, you should see the users that we've created. And you can see here, yep, the one that I confirmed that we created. And then obviously there's that one that was already created before that I couldn't show you because I refreshed the page obviously. But basically that confirms that the create user function has actually worked correctly. Now that I've showed you how to create a user, let's now show you how to log in as any user. So let's comment out this um, because we don't need it at the moment. Now, what we're gonna do here is, uh, we don't actually need our name for this part. So 
I might just comment this out too. And basically what we're going to do is it's going to be quite similar to what we did just now, but it's just going to be probably a few less lines of code. So what we're going to do is I'm going to comment, I'll comment this as the login user function so you can keep track. Um, so we're going to do comment chat login pass UID and or key as our arguments or parameters. Then we're going to do then uh, user arrow function and we're going to put this console log um, user logged in successfully uh, and we're just going to pass in our user info so we can see it. Um, otherwise, if that doesn't work, let's just do an error arrow function and do console log um, login failed and we will uh, pass the error. Okay, so we've saved that. So now if it's worked, if I go back to my browser, we can see that I've logged in successfully. Um, now, how do we know that I've logged in? All right, so let's check this. Um, and we can see that, yes, we've logged in as um, user two, which is uh, Samuel. And here's our auth token. So yeah, pretty cool, hey? Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna install uh, the UI kit to our project so we can get a nice UI that's got a bunch of components ready to go that are actually by this UI kit. Um, so it saves you time obviously having to build out this um, messaging app, for example. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill the app temporarily. And if we go into the instructions, there is this GitHub repo that we need to clone. So let's go copy. Um, and basically what we want to do here is we want to seed into the source folder because we don't want to put it directly in the root directory. Uh, actually, yeah, we can do that. So uh, if we paste that here, we can clone it. Now that we've cloned our Git repository, um, we should be able to open it just here and you should see this package.json file. So there's a few extra dependencies that came with this Git repository that we're gonna to need to copy into our projects package.json file. Um, so since we've already got like uh, Comet Chat Pro React scripts and React DOM and React, for example, we should only have to copy probably these ones. And we'll go back to our projects package.json file, um, paste them down here, um, and we'll save that. Now, keep in mind too, that um, you may have to delete known modules again before running another NPM install because we need to run NPM install again to get these new dependencies. So I'm gonna run NPM install and see if that works, but it should, but if it doesn't, it's probably because we'll have to delete known modules and, and reinstall everything. Okay, so I was able to compile my app successfully after running an NPM install. Um, so now what we're going to do to see if this works is actually what we'll do first. Um, I just want to tidy up the project a bit. Let's take our comment chat pro react UI kit folder and let's just drag it into the source folder just so it all stays relative. Um, the next thing we want to do is we actually want to try import a component from this um, project that we cloned. So we're going to do the comment chat UI component and we're going to grab that from uh, comment chat pro UI kit, uh, yep, comment chat workspace, source and components. I believe that's where it will be. Um, there's also, if you want to check for reference, um, there will be a bunch of them just here that you can have a look at. So have a play with that in your free time. Um, now we want to use that. And as, it, as I've done here, so I've uh, in, written this component here already and I've just wrapped it in a div. So uh, let's save that and let's try run the app and see what happens. Okay, so after running the app, this is what I see. Uh, so this is our component that we imported and rendered. Um, so yeah, this is our comment chat UI component. If we go to users here, uh, yeah, we can actually see there's my other user. Um, so if we inspect this, for example, um, we'll still be logged in as uh, my other account. So user two, Samuel, 
Um, and we can see here that we can actually, yeah, contact Sam. So very cool indeed. Um, yeah. And that is pretty much all we're going to do for today's video. Um, this was just a basic guide just to help you get started with comment chat in React. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to dive more into this topic and maybe show you different components and how we can extend comment chat in React further or even use comment chat on other platforms like Vue. Um, so if you like this video, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up and I hope to see you again next time.